Well, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. This episode's pretty special to us. It's our 100th episode. I can't, I can't believe it myself. We've done it 100 times now. This year, we had an awesome year. It's like, you know, no different from any other year here with Addictive Fishing. But I did get to fish with one of my buddies, Captain Paul Tejera. And I tell you what, if you ever go to Almorada, you need to fish with this guy, because he'll put you on the big bonefish. Up first, the season look back with Captain Paul Tejera from Almorada. Coming at you. Leave it there, leave it there. Move it. Don't move your line because it'll spook you. Come on, baby. You either got him or you don't. There you go. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> I got him. Yeah. Stick him. Stick him a couple of times. I just, I got him. I got okay. a good stick. Right. A good stick. Oh, go way yeah, right. Yeah, baby. That's the way to do it, brother. That's the way. Nice tailors. You know, for all the years we've known each other, Paul, <laughs> and the first time for us to fish together. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, I hope you don't get us on that Yeah, we trail. got a little buoy out there, so be careful. We got some good heat on them, though. Yeah, I got a fairly loose drag, too. Yeah. Listen to that baby scream. <laughs> they get in that channel, and they just get in that cool water, and it's all over. Will he Absolutely. pretty much stay in the channel? Yeah, yeah, he's going to stay in the channel now, right along that edge. Ooh, that's a good fish. That's a real yeah. good fish. <laughs> He's gonna have me down on my back in here before long, brother. Yeah. I could feel him sitting there chewing on it. I didn't right. know whether to move it or not because you move that line and... Yeah, you could spook them just by moving the line sometimes. They're so sensitive. Well, this is that, this is the smooth cast fins and it kind of matches the exact water color here. So hopefully it disappears like that seagull does. I noticed that, it's almost like a camo. Yeah. Matches it's water a shallow color. water camo. <laughs> shallow water camo line. Yeah, change the name. But he had a little bit of, a little bit of line out there, bro. Yeah, he did. Yep, I see him down there. Oh boy, you are going to be happy with this Look one, son. Look at that bone. You fish. are going to be happy with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I got my first look at him right there. You're going to be super happy on I this one. Just by his head shake, he's a big fish. Yeah. Just keep them under control. Just keep them right in front of you. That's it. I'll do my best. Keep this one right. I, 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 you had to go and say that. Now I'm shaking. <laughs> Put a little shaking. bit of pressure on my buddy. Shaking like a leaf. <laughs> okay, so you got the biggest bonefish you get on the end of your line. And what do you do after that, Paul? Well, you want to make sure there's no obstacles in the way, for one thing, because if they are, like some of these buoys, yeah. you're going to have to let, let some slack in your line and just uh, let them run around it. Look at the size of that bonefish. Yeah, he's gonna be beauty. We'll see. <laughs> oh, he's hooked right in the side of the mouth. Look at that bonefish, brother. Yeah, that's baby. my biggest. That's an Alamorada bony. That's a um, that's a downtown Alamorada bonefish. You better believe it. That is a true Mogan bonefish. There, <laughs> you got your Mogan bonefish. Look at that. There's so much like a tarpon. It looks like they're chiseled out of like a piece of ice. Oh, baby. Look at the size. Yeah. What do you think? Yes, yeah, baby! baby. <laughs> yeah. Show him to that camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that's a bonefish right there. Isla Murata style. That is an awesome <laughs> one. Yeah, baby. That is called a drag screamer right there. An absolute drag screamer. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Yeah. These fish will make you shake. <laughs> what, like a leaf in March <laughs> when the wind's blowing hard, baby? Here, let's set him back in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's so good. Are you gonna stick a tag in him? Yeah. All right, here, I'll get your kid. That is a fish and a half, bro. Yeah, baby. Bonefish downtown. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you do this. All right. I'll hold the fish and you do yep. it since you're... Yeah, you can hold his tail right there. I'll get that hook out too. All we do is lift up a scale here. Right next to the dorsal. Put it in there, and that is number 150, Blair Wiggins. 150. <laughs> like Ooh. my 150 pound tarpon I caught from down That here. fish is yours. You own it. That tag will let somebody know what phone number they can call, 
and uh, trace that fish to where we caught it. So some of the fish have been caught 75 miles away. Some have been caught across the Gulf Stream in the Bahamas. Coming out. So do I get to release him? I, yeah, of course you do. It's your Mogan Bonefish, buddy. It's my Mogan Bonefish. Anytime? Yeah, he's ready. See you later, buddy. Yeah. That. Look at that size on. Look at that girth. That is awesome. Was that a killer bonefish or what? If y'all ever get the chance to go down and fish with Captain Paul Tejera and Amarada, do it. I've waited 10 years to do it, and I, you can't describe what it's like catching a bonefish if you've never caught one. So get down there and see if you can catch one in Amarada with Captain Paul. Y'all stay tuned. We got some more highlights coming up and what everybody's been asking for for years, some more bloopers. If y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. Let's go then. It's Kobe, it's a whole school oh, of They're drop, 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 drop. I'm coming, I'm coming, Holy I'm coming. Moly. Look at all the Kobe, brother. Well, welcome back to the 100th episode here on Addicted Fishing. This show, we're taking a look back at the highlights from this season. And I tell you what, it was one of the best seasons we've ever had. Shot in HD, everything looks great. We were with Captain Jim Ross off the Space Coast. And I tell you what, a little story about me and Captain Jim. Every time the Kobe are in town, we can never seem to get even a still camera on the boat. But this time, the Kobe were in town. They were hungry, right off the Space Coast. Kobe Alicious. Great show. You hook up one of them sea bass and see if you can bring up a cubby with him. Heck yeah, brother. <laughs> Where are we at? Pretty good mark. All right, I think I got a sea bass here. Let me bring him up real slow. I got my tail bit off. Cobia, on him, big cobia. A whole school of cobia! Holy cow, get the net, get the net, get the net! <laughs> dude, they're trying to eat the sea bass. He just ate the sea bass. And that's a 60 pound cobia, dude. Look at that cobia. Holy nice. moly! Nice, Blair. Let's see if I can get one hooked up, too. <laughs> I got one in the fray. Come Unbelievable. On, come on. They're going with him. Come on, come back, come back, come back. Oh, he didn't want to. Oh, he says, oh, that's a live bait. I'm going to eat that. Yeah. Oh, 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 did you see that, brother? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and there he goes. Excuse me. Pandemonium, baby. Pandemonium. This is a monster. I had about a 12-inch sea bass on this, and he came up and slurped it. <laughs> you ever have clients that sometimes you get so excited that you got a sea bass, and you bring it up away from the cubby. You don't let him eat it, but that's what I did. I just dropped it right back down in that cubby. <laughs> and kaboom. What you got there, Nice. Jim? You got one of the big brown ones? Oh yeah, babe, look at that leap. Hey, Jimmy. Yes, sir. I think I'd call this one a grown one here. That's full. That's a full grown one there. That's a full grown one. This one should be up in Destin. This is a monster. When they eat a 12 inch sea bass, you know they're big. <laughs> I got this one. This is the baby of the bunch, I think, but he was the only one that didn't go back down after yours. I know there was, what, eight of them there? <laughs> Unbelievable. See uh, what I was saying, just like I was saying, if you hook a little fish, Bring the little fish up in the whole school of cubby if they're there, come up with them. I'm using my eight foot Wright McGill signature series, same one I used for tarpon on the west coast, tarpon on the east coast, and now cobia on the east coast. Oh, and he spit the jig. He spit the jig it. right at the last. Right oh, at the well. last. Wore a hole in him. Let's see if I can get him to hit it again. Where do you think you're at, Louis? Bear you jig head. I threw a top water plug at him one time, yeah. and the fish ate it. I fought him for like two minutes. He spit the plug, it came out of his mouth. I twitched it three times, he ran back up and ate it again. I'm like, that's a dumb fish. That's well, the kind I like. Everybody remembers that show that me and you did in Mosquito Lagoon. Oh yeah, the red fish. With the red fish. Yep, he ate the spoon and I set the hook and broke the line and turned around and cast that silver spoon back at him and he ate it. Woo, this dude's giving me a workout. That's probably my biggest cubby from Space Coast, I tell you. Blair, you want me to clear that trolling motor out of the way? Yeah, if you would, because he's staying right up front. All right. There's color. Woo, God, is he big. It's a monster. Oh, this is a monster. Look at this fish down there, guys. Look at that cobia. Woo, doggy. You look good, too, Jimmy. Here he comes. Ready? I got it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, baby. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. <laughs> That's what I'm That's talking about. That's a cubby about. and a half there. Ready? Woo. Go. Bring Ooh. him in the boat. Nice. 
Cobia licious. What else can you say about a cobia other than that it's probably one of the best eating fish that comes out of the ocean? If y'all ever get a chance to come down here to the Space Coast and fish with Captain Jim, you've seen him before on the shows. He's put us on fish every single time we've been with him. But uh, up next, y'all stick around. We're gonna be with Captain Billy Henderson over in Homosassa. Y'all stay tuned. More addictive fishing coming right back. Let's go then. They don't call him the Silver King for nothing, baby. I ain't never seen one do that. Yeah, he is absolutely going crazy. He is going eight nuts. Well, welcome back to the season finale of Addictive Fishing right here. Also happens to be our 100th episode. And we got a call from Captain Billy Henderson out of Homosassa. And that's all you really got to say when it comes to Homosassa, Crystal River area, is Captain Billy Henderson. The man knows his stuff when it comes to fishing there. Up next, highlights from nuclear tarpon. Let me give you something over there to eat, big boy. Nice, fat, tasty little plastic mullet. Oh, there he is! Missed oh, God, big one, too. Holy cow. Oh, he missed it, he missed Come it. Come off. Oh, dude, did you see the size of that thing? <laughs> His whole side lit up like a tree, like a spotlight. God almighty. Woo! That was a stud that, right there that now. That was a stud now. <laughs> that was a stud. Oh, there he is. Fish on, brother. Got him? Yep. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, baby! Good God, he's going nuts, ain't he? He don't like that thing in his mouth, does he? <laughs> Check him out. <laughs> he's going bonkers. They don't call him the Silver King for nothing, baby. I ain't never seen one do that. Man, he is absolutely going crazy. He is going eight nuts. He's acting like he got a shark after him, but you know that ain't the case because he just hooked up. I don't know if sitting there following him. Holy cow, that fish went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one dude like that before. Hopefully he don't jump in the boat with us. Hopefully not this one. Look at that nice fish, perfect it's, size. It's the one I wanted to catch. Those great, great big ones will just work you and work you and work you. If you see this little one here, 85, 90 pounds, they like to jump a lot. He's coming up. That's pretty cool, bear. That yeah. mullet come up that line. That's neat. Yeah, it comes up the line like that, so it doesn't really damage the mullet. There it goes. Nice. So they don't damage the uh, lure too much. You can use it over again. A lot of people always thought when I'm demonstrating these rods at seminars and stuff, they said that rod seems awful light to catch a big fish. But you see, this is the eight footer, and it flat did the trick. He's still got a little energy left. Nice fish. Hey, you, if Billy Henderson ever calls you and says, hey, the tarpon are here, you better, you better come. Hey, he's rolling now. This rod with him pretty that quick. That fish ain't nowhere near as big as that one that hit you oh, no, two minutes before. He was a freaking giant. Oh, come on over here to this redfish on the side of my boat. Nice. Yeah, the more they jump like that next to the boat, the, that did quick, man right the, there, the quicker they tire out. Don't let him bust your nose now. Nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. How many people you know got their nose broke from these fish? I know a few that's got whacked in the face. That's why I see me throw my hands up and if he hits me, he'll go away. You got an 80 pound leader there, so it's pretty tough. You got him? You want him? Yeah, I'll see if I can get him. Look, pliers in there. It's, it's over here on this outside. Oh, okay. Look at, that, look at that chiseled head on that fish. Ooh! I ain't got gloves on. You want them? All right. Look well, at that hook's right on the side. Yeah, better get your hand on him good. All right, pop that hook. Uh, clear. Three. Clear, clear, clear. This will probably be able to go over from right here. And these fish here, they have the olfactory glands right here, and that's just like our nostrils. That's what they use to smell. And uh, you'll hear about people chumming for tarpon, and they'll go, they'll smell the chum and come right up the line. But and look at that face. That is a beautiful fish. Uh, you wonder why they people target them so much. You just saw why this guy just jumped and absolutely went nuts. 
Was that some awesome tarpon fishing or what? Catching them on the spinning rod? And no matter, you know, whether you're using DOAs or mirror lures, Captain Billy says it might take you a million casts, but if you keep casting, you're gonna catch a fish. Up next, some bloopers from the 100th episode, which is also the season finale of Addicted Fishing. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back. Let's go then. And uh, we're with Captain Jim Ross right over the space. Well, welcome back to the 100th episode of Addicted Fishing. And uh, up next, we get emails and calls all the time. Everybody wants to see Blair's bloopers. So up next here on Addicted Fishing is a blooper segment, followed by a new Mungin Man music video that we've just put together. So y'all stick around to the end. It's going to be a good close. And three, you ready? On today's Rig It Right segment, segment. Holy, holy, holy sh Stay tuned throughout this sequence. Well, I'm not a lot of sorry. Sounded like a grunt, didn't it? <laughs> On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm gonna show you what. Get up. Get up. Ah! And uh, we're with Captain Jim Ross right over the spe. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back to the season finale, also the 100th episode of Dick. Oh, never mind. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. But it could change it. There's a fish. There you got it. Look, I got the bottom. Every fishing season starts right at dicks. Need to start that and do that again. Oh, in and out of the net. So hooked up? Holy no. shit. That's all darn. It's one of the best eaten fish that come out of the. Uh, 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 Daddy! -o! That one's for Alan. And I tell you what, this season was like no other. Uh, <laughs> Blooper. <laughs> oh my God. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm going to show you what we're doing. <laughs> now, another thing I want to talk about is the new DOA. Deep into bed, bed. Oh, he's in the boat. <laughs> Those fish are feared of him. And that sucked. That is addictive fishing right there, brother. <laughs> there he is, baby. <laughs> Got him, buddy. Got him. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Here we go, baby. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Is that a Mogan? That's your own, brother. Yep. Yeah, baby, nice. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> These fish will make you shake. Look at that cobia. Holy moly! He ain't happy. What do you think? Was that one awesome music video or what? I want to say thanks to the Mogan Music Boys over there. For the past quite a few years now, they have made some awesome music for addictive fishing. I want to say thanks to you guys out there for tuning in each and every week. And also want to yell out a big, great thanks to all of our sponsors out there. Without you guys, addictive fishing wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be on your televisions each and every week. Y'all keep up with us on the off season. You can go to Facebook, MySpace, or the old fateful addictedfishing.com. You can download the mu music video there. And uh, we'll see y'all next season. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers.